So in today's video, I have drawn inspiration from my own ebook, which is called Plant Based Wonders, and I have created three Buddha bowl ideas for you guys, hopefully to kind of fuel you for your week. So from each of the bowls that I'm about to share, you can definitely draw inspiration and mix and match. Do as you please. My channel is all about encouraging you to fill out what feels right for you in your kitchen. So I hope you guys collect loads of ideas from watching this video. It is officially summer, which means it is the perfect time to start off with one of my favorite recipes from the book, which is this aubergine bowl that you are about to see. It is everything, it is delicious. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. Hope you guys enjoy the video, let's go. So the first Buddha bowl is a grilled aubergine bowl with a mint, tahini and avocado dip, a beautiful rainbow salad and some quinoa. So I started by preparing the rainbow salad. I chopped up some cucumber, I diced up some cherry tomatoes and I finally, finally chopped some parsley and then I placed all of the ingredients into a bowl. Followed on by some olive oil, some lemon juice, some pink salt and some pomegranate seeds. I set the salad to the side and it was time to prepare the delicious aubergine. So I began by slicing up my aubergine into around four pieces. So I faintly scored the top of the aubergine. This is to ensure that all the flavor is absorbed when you are seasoning your aubergines. So I placed the aubergine pieces into a bowl and I drizzled over some olive oil, some tamari, some oregano, some paprika, some garlic powder. So you wanna make sure your aubergine is totally covered with the marinade for it to seep through and for it to cook really well. I placed on top some black pepper. Then I popped the aubergine slices into an oven of around 200 degrees. Originally, I did this recipe and I grilled the aubergine, but for some reason I just fancied roasted aubergine, so that's what I did. So it was then time to prepare the ridiculously delicious creamy avocado tahini and mint dressing. So I needed some avocado, some mint, some spring onions, some lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, tahini, and some water to blend everything together. So using my Vitamix, I placed in the creamy avocado, followed on by some lemon juice, chopped mint, the tahini, black pepper, I missed out the black pepper before, some spring onions and some salt and the water to blend it all together. I processed it until it was smooth, adding a little bit more water just to kind of get the consistency that I wanted. Everything was cooked, all my food was prepared and it was time to plate it all together. So in my bowl, I placed in the quinoa, the rainbow salad with the crunchy pomegranate seeds, the aubergine pieces, which were just looking so yummy, as you guys can see, that delicious thick creamy avocado mint and tahini dressing and I sprinkled on a few more pomegranate seeds just to make it look really pretty. And that is my bowl idea number one. So bowl idea number two includes a couple of my favorite recipes from my book, which is the chickpea coconut curry, as well as the stir fried wild mushroom rice, which is beyond words, it is so delicious. So the very first thing that I did around four or five hours before I wanted to cook, or you can even do it overnight, is soak my wild rice. So then I washed it and I cooked it in some fresh water with a pinch of salt. So I then started to prepare the curry. So I heated up some coconut oil and I threw in the base of all of my curries, which is onions, garlic, and ginger. And then I crushed up some cumin seeds really, really well, just to release all of the flavors. So I placed the cumin seeds inside of the pan followed on by some garlic powder, some cayenne, some thyme, some oregano, some tamari, and I threw in the passata, just cooking everything down and added a good, good helping of black pepper. The original recipe calls for sweet potatoes. I found these beautiful new potatoes in my local farmer's market on the weekend, so I just chose to use those instead. So I threw in the chopped red peppers, the diced new potatoes, the cooked chickpeas, the water and the coconut milk. And I covered up the pan just to cook everything down. It was then time to prepare the fried mushroom wild rice. This rice will blow your mind, I promise. So I began by chopping up 
Of course, again, the garlic, the onions, finely, finely grating the ginger with a handheld grater. Literally just gets like the juice of the ginger out and this is just a step that I love to do. So I finely diced the mushrooms. I heated up a little bit of coconut oil in a pan and I threw in the garlic, the onions, the ginger and mixed everything for a couple of minutes on a low heat. So I added in some dried oregano, some tamari and some black pepper. So I cooked the mushrooms down until they were soft and had turned like a little bit brown. I checked on my wild rice and it was cooked. So I went ahead and threw my wild rice into the frying pan. So my curry was bubbling away. It was ready, it was smelling delicious. And I threw in some more coriander and I plated everything up. So I placed on the fried mushroom wild rice, which just makes me weak. And I placed on the chickpea curry and I fried some plantain because I just wanted a little something extra on the side. Sliced up some avocado, threw on some more coriander. And that is bowl number two, definitely a crowd pleasing bowl. So the third bowl that I created using recipes from my plant-based wonders ebook was the spinach, za'atar and roasted garlic falafels with a few little leftover bits that I had. So I started off by roasting the garlic. You can drizzle a little bit of oil over and this will definitely like kind of make the flavors more intense. So I chopped up some spinach, I chopped up some onion, finely chopped some parsley, cut open a lemon because we're gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. So I threw in the chickpeas followed on by the chopped up spinach chopped parsley, I drizzled on some tahini, I placed in the spices, cumin powder, za'atar and some cayenne. I went ahead and threw all of these spices into the falafel mix followed on by some pink salt, some black pepper, some lemon juice, the onions, the roasted garlic and then I processed everything kind of wanting to keep the texture. And then I threw in some chickpea flour. The chickpea flour is gonna act as a binder. It's gonna bind everything together. And then I created my little falafel shapes. Usually I would fry the falafels, but I wanted to try something different and I wanted to see if baking them would work. It was time to plate up my third and final plate, which consisted of some leftover quinoa, the leftover rainbow salad. I had some beetroot hummus in the fridge. I plated up the delicious falafels, followed on by some sauerkraut and a little bit of avocado to top it all off, and then a drizzle of tahini. So I hope this video has given you guys some ideas of some bowls that you can recreate. All of the recipes can be found in my ebook, which is called Plant Based Wonders. I will link the book in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you all. Bye.